Well, we haven't much longer to wait now. Just a matter of minutes. After all, some of us have waited all the year for this. A few minutes more won't hurt. We've thought about it, dreamt about it, planned it and settled it. Our voyage to the strange and far off lands. In a matter of minutes, we'll be waving goodbye to the dear white cliffs. So are you sure that you've chosen the right route? Are you sure the steering's properly greased? Are you sure you've packed your special skin food? Are you sure you've got film in your camera? Of course we are. We know what we're doing. We've come from all over the world. We know how to get about. Things are organized so that we can get about. You see, everybody's got that easy, confident look about them. Well, there's no messing about. Things are moving. The cars are rolling. It'll be your turn in a tick, so get your side mirror adjusted, eh? Yeah, just up a bit. Mm, oh, thank you. That's much better. Thank you very much. Right, here we go. Come along, then. Come along. Keep going. Keep going. You keep them moving, don't you? Well, you need to. We get as many as 10,000 vehicles crossing the channel when we're busy. Oh. How do you manage it? Well, it's a piece of cake, you know, when you know how. Is it? Oh, yes. Yeah. 10,000 vehicles. And how many passengers? Oh, as many as 50,000. Oh. Well, it all seems to go like clockwork. Well, it should go like clockwork, shouldn't it? I mean, a driver can't go wrong, can he? Everything's marked up to say where he has to go. All the lanes are laid out simple and straightforward. You can't get flustered, can you? No, um, you can't get flustered, can you? When your problems are so skillfully taken away from you. Because apart from skimming you over the channel, Townsend Torreson have a large camp equipment hire centre at Dover and at Southampton. Oh, no, not girls putting up a tent affair. Oh, they'll never do it. You see, there'll be in a fine old fix in no time at all. You watch it. Here we go. <laughs> all over the floor. Oh. Ooh. What's it like in there? Oh, it's lovely. Come in. Oh, it's a pleasure. Not you, me. Oh. You can hire all sorts of camp equipment from Townsend Torreson. There are these trim and handy caravans. Now, they're nice, aren't they? They sleep for and tow beautifully. So, do you feel like a gypsy dawdle around the Continent? Well, what we miss on the continent, quite frankly, is a nice cup of tea. You can never seem to get a decent cup of tea abroad. Ah, but you can. You can take your own bit of dear old England with you. You can make yourself nice cups of tea all the way from Calais to Bordeaux and back. You can be abroad and at home all at the same time. Caravanning abroad is very well catered for. There's a lot to be said for it, you know. Yes, I know. It all seems very nice, doesn't it? Well, I'll speak to my husband about it. It's as good as done, old girl. Here you are. Grab these. We're off. There we go. Bang on time. Of course we're bang on time. We have to be. We have ships going from Dover to Cali and Zeebrugge, and from Southampton to La Havre and Schoolburg. It's all arranged to suit your requirements, as they say. So, why don't you enjoy the stimulation of a short sea voyage? Yes. Very nice. Ah, well, we won't be seeing England for a day or two, I suppose. So have a good, long, last look. That's it. Of course, now the thing to do is to behave as though you do this sort of thing every day. <laughs> There's nothing to it, is there? No, it's kids' play. Of course it is. You'll find everything you want on board. The shops carry quite surprising stocks of stuff. Wonder if I can get some special skin food on board. I wonder if I can get some real food on board. 
Lux is now being found. Oh, thank goodness for that. I couldn't have waited much longer, could you? No. It's a lovely packed lunch, though, isn't it? Mm. You know, I don't feel like going to the restaurant, do you? There's so much to see up here. Oh, but you can see from the restaurant beautifully. That's if you're not too distracted. Now, let's see. I think that I'll have some of... Uh, oh, gosh. Look at that. Ooh, I, I say, look, we're passing the needles. What needles? Shh, quiet. That's the trouble with the sea and ships. They give you such a walloping appetite. You need to go for a brisk walk after a lunch like that. Or perhaps they weren't hungry. <laughs> ah, well. <clears throat> a half a dozen times around the deck and we'll be ready for pretty well anything. Eh? I don't believe it. Not on a ship. Souvenirs, perfume. Now, don't go mad. No, but you can afford to go a trifle balmy because it's all so cheap. Still, I'd better let that do. The nice thing about this ship is that you get the service that you'd serve yourself with. Right, ladies, what have we got here, eh? All the scotch. Uh -huh. Right. 200 cigarettes. Anything else? No? Right. <laughs> Of course, the great thing about sea travel is that there is no anxiety, no tension. Well, not enough to worry about. There's plenty of time to unwind. Plenty of time for another one, isn't there? Oh, yes, I think so. There we are, sir. <laughs> I think you'll enjoy that. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, right. Oh, one too many. <laughs> Everything's done the way you do it yourself. The cabins are roomy and comfortable. The shops have got just what you want. Yeah, but I'm afraid that you can't have that just yet. Mm. I wonder if I dare ask Uncle Bill. You know, I can't seem to get my feet comfortable. What's the matter with your feet? I don't know, they're uncomfortable. I suppose it's because the rest of me feels so lovely. Yeah. Everything is done the way you would do it yourself. Steak, sir? Ah, yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Just the way you do it yourself. <laughs> Yeah. Mm. And that's as it should be. The way you do it yourself. Oh, yes. That's just the way you do it yourself. Yeah, well, you can have a go at this yourself any time you like. All right, evil Miatis, we're arriving on the other side. Chuck us a line. Come on, mustn't keep the customers waiting. Oh, but there's hardly any waiting. When you consider that not so very long ago, the only way to get a motor car across the channel was to lift it by its four wheels with a crane and lower it into the ship's hold and then lift it out by the same method. <laughs> but now you can just toddle down to Dover or Southampton, pick up your Townsend Torreson hire caravan, drive on board, have lunch and drive off the other side. <laughs> Aren't you being the clever one, eh? Of course you are. You've spotted a good thing and you're on to it. And so is everyone else. Crossing the channel used to be something of an ordeal. But now, it's a bit of a lark, eh? Yeah, yeah. Even the dreaded Duan 
the terrible customs have made things so easy, you almost feel like asking them to come on holiday with you. I say, would you care to come with us? Oh, well, uh, thank you. Excuse me, but I would love to come, but uh, I had better stop here a bit, eh? Okay, you stop there a bit, and we move on a bit. Hey, how many you got there, eh? Hmm? Just the six. Just the six, eh? Eh? Is that all? Okay. Okay. We're not going very far this holiday. Well, we don't want to go very far with the kids. We can hire one of the Townsend Torreson super chalets at De Haan in Belgium. They're really neat and elegant, these chalets. We'll sleep up to six and are absolutely no trouble to run. Ah, but there's your shopping, isn't there? You've got to go out and buy this and buy that. That's no holiday, you know. Oh, but this is kids' play. Where are the kids? Come on, kids, we want a cup of tea. There's a holiday hamper pack waiting for you to unpack. And it keeps the kids out of mischief. Your problems are taken away from you. Come on, kids, the tea. The kettle's boiling. Well, what's for supper tonight, Mum? <laughs> you can take your pick. Now, come on, kids, we told you to keep out of mischief. And that's only too easy here. There's a super playground and a super beach. now that I've been a bit of a fool. Yeah, and we realize that we're being bits of fools too. No, I didn't mean like that. I've come over for just a few days and I won't have enough time. Enough time for what? Well, enough time to see all I want to see. Haha, <laughs> but that's just the trouble. You never know how much time is enough time. Oh. Enough time to slow yourself down to the leisurely plod of the cab horse trot. Enough time to put long breaths of its life. Enough time to contemplate the controlled agitation of the patient lace maker. Enough time to dawdle and not to dash, enough time to stop and gawp and ponder and peer, enough time to let the world drift past you for a change. You know, Belgium is a surprising little country. It packs a tremendous variety of scenery into quite a small space. So you haven't to travel very far to be beguiled. You soon get used to driving on the continent. You can bowl on and on all the way to the Mediterranean, if you have time. But I suppose you have to be making your way back home now. Yes, afraid so. Didn't really have enough time, did you? No, not really. Still, you've got time for a cup of tea. 
Oh, yes, time for a cup of tea. Mm. <clears throat> you don't want a cup of tea, sir, do you, eh? It's no trouble to come back here any time I like. With Townsend Torrison, it's no trouble at all. <laughs>